time for anime review. Ding. It's the review of Hyperdimension Nepunon. Like, comment, and subscribe. After years of fruitless war between the four realms of Game Industria, Platunia, Laster Station, Loud, and Leanbox, over a shared energy, the source of their strength based on how much their people have faith in their goddesses. The four CPUs that rule over them have finally agreed to sign a friendship treaty. The treaty bans any attempts at claiming shared energy through military force. and helps to bring peace and prosperity to their worlds. Yet, a month after the treaty, Neptune, the CPU goddess of Planet Tune, spends her time goofing off and playing games rather than doing her job, leaving her land shares plummeting. This animation is based off of a game series in which follows Neptune and her friends attempting at raising shares while dealing with an external threat that could spell the end of both goddesses and game industrial itself. This anime is heavily authored from the events of the video game that serves as the basis elemental building blocks of the franchise to create a original story. This anime has about 12 episodes. It has a sequel a spin-off, and multiple adaptations. It premiered July 12, 2013 to September 27, 2013. It's based on a game series. It is action, comedy, fantasy, parody, sci-fi, supernatural. Each episode is 24 minutes per episode, and it's rated PG-13. I will say one fascinating aspect of this anime that, besides based on a video game, and possibly a manga series, I will say that it does have like at least like two or three seasons and it tries to make sure it's different from the from the video game premise as much as possible. But I will say it was a good anime. It did make me laugh. It, the story is plain and simple, you know, four goddesses or in their own countries. They sign a peace treaty. And then one of them doesn't take their duty as goddess very seriously. And then their share her energy shares are depleting. And she's helping her friends to help get them back and running. Also make sure, you know, they all agree and keep within the peace treaty as the friendship treaty as they have all um sign his agreement to. I feel like if you have seen this game on YouTube or played it yourself and watched the anime, you can tell there are slight differences in the game with either more characters, more storyline in the video game than the anime itself. But overall it's pretty good. Like each of the characters stand out in their own individual individual interests, especially with the countries that they run. And the personalities are very interesting, to say the least. Um, as any fan of this series, which I thoroughly enjoy, I love the look and the overall aesthetic of this anime. It does have a nice characteristic charm to it. And also the dialogue between each of the characters are pretty funny. <laughs> like you have Neptune who, besides her goddess form, you know, just a little details and more in the anime, she does have her childlike form, which makes her not really take her, her ruleless duties quite seriously in some aspects. And you know, that might get on some people's nerves, but eventually you're a little bit fond over it. Then you have uh, Nora, who's the goddess of, the diff of another country, and then you have Long and you have Vert, who all together, you know, have their own interests and hobbies that keep them busy. Especially Goddess Blanc. She's very interesting, to say the least, in her goddess realm. When she's in her normal form, like, you'll see more of their interesting hobbies that, that keep them busy when they're not performing their duties as goddesses. And I feel like with the other big, huge, supporting cast that you meet along the way, that just an experience. Like, you take, like, a literal RPG game and turn it into an anime. Now, that's something, besides Star Online, and other like half group and I'll get like that to take a different approach of it because it's an all female led based game in this series and it's also four girls or four women all running their own nation which is kind of interesting and cool and also like the fun actors who bring this kind of life they did a spectacular job especially like you know when it comes to translating from game to anime I think they did a, a spin spend like a spectacular job at that and I feel like with each of these guys you can relate to them in some shape or form which I thoroughly enjoy especially with like you know the transition from like they're all the kingdoms to like the, each of the guys themselves like you get to know them a little better like what's it like for them to run a country and what other responsibilities they might have besides that you know and make sure that, that their citizens like you know still view them as the goddesses and you know still respect them while trying to produce energy shares as a whole now, there is some fan service here and there, and there are some shots that, you know, that will focus on the girls' uh, bodily uh, fundamental shapes, which is fine, you know, that can that can be totally, you know, if you're okay with that, you can look, 
like not, not really bother you but also t taking place in a different like realm which is gang industry that's divided into four regions it's a really interesting um concept because you see that each region is ruled by different goddesses and how they run it and how like you know try to sell up a piece and you know trying to maintain a friendship between the four of them and i think also like each of the characters they have their own common personality that suits them to the best and also seeing what they also deal with besides running a country like the other family responsibilities like the um like carrying through their own needs and interests you know we're trying to make sure everything's in tip-top shape trying to balance it out we're trying to also defend their countries from like enemies that try to make that might try to ruin this piece and i feel like with a good amount of comedy to help weigh out and like unbalance the dark moments to the happy moments it does a good job of that and especially when you're adding sci-fi tech like technology aspect to this anime it's really good like i was surprised by the environment the scenery the set it was really stand out and like all the supernatural elements did a really good job of conveying the story to the first foremost and bring out to my expectations and even more and like all seeing the cute little characters that are from the game integrated to the anime like you know what they actually sound like so like the normal video game functions and also you know, like, know each of the characters even more and their role in this and like see how they help run these four kingdoms together without hoping it doesn't go into chaos in the mix of it but i feel like this anime is something that anybody can really enjoy and also like if you really enjoy rpgs then you really enjoy this anime that did a top job of trying to differentiate from the video game self to its anime self but i think it did a good job of trying to balance out the both aspects of the source material and i feel like with these characters you can relate to them not by the fact that i'm running a country but like also with the themes of friendship and developing that friendship as each character has a strong development and growth along with each other along with themselves and trying to make the best for what they feel is right for their nation along with their friendship and trying to have a good time especially in the dark moments i try to make you know a uplifting theme a like you can always rely on your friends and no matter what they'll always be there for you even when you feel like you've gotten down to the lowest point in your life i feel like that's a good explanation target for this anime especially with the thing that they're trying to get across and i think it did a good job of you know balancing the heavy and the comedy along with the one's parody from you know the game itself and based on the source material but the very rich theme of fantasy and in the futuristic look that it does with all the technology in this game like i thoroughly enjoy it now the op and the end songs are just really spot on as well it fits the game and the anime to the very best i think it does that and i think you won't be left feeling like you're missing something from this anime because there are other sequels and spin-off that you can watch it and also the games go along with it. so basically you have a whole complete journey of this series as a whole that you will not be left with unanswered questions i feel like all your answers will be all your questions will be answered basically that's how i feel and overall i just give this anime a 7.5 out of 10 i really thoroughly enjoyed it i think they did a good job with kind of doing one type of medium from one console to another form of medium which is the anime i think they did a good job of that and i can't wait to see what y'all think as well thanks for tuning in this review i hope you give this big video a big thumbs up or a like don't forget to comment out below in the comment section what anime you want to review next or any recommendations and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos and more contents and i will see you soon until then bye Thank <laughs> you.